On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life. Because life is indeed the greatest. <laughs> yeah man, me I tell you. So right now in the morning, we are going to do a little quick recap before we get into the main story. Because... For the past couple of years, you know, I notice a trend. Anytime it touch late January to like late March, early February, we have a series of knockings and clappings incident involving females. I don't know who see that trend there over the past couple of years, but me definitely see it. And we also get an optic trend in terms of domesticated violence. Yeah, man. Man against woman, woman against man. People are lick off people and people are tap tap up people, drop them a ground, left them lifeless. The thing worrying. So we really need to break the curse there. We really need to break that trend there. In other area, 2022 definitely should be dubbed the year of change, preservation of life. Hashtag. Yeah, man. So since the start of the new year, 2022, we get quite a few loss of life as it relates to females. Some of them definitely find themselves in arms way. Some of them definitely live a dirty lifestyle and end up get slapped with courtesy of the old dirty kind of boy them. Some of them find themselves in a some compromising position and when the old dirty kind of boy them come for come slap with man, them end up dead there and end up get dashed with you in the crossfire. So I could get into this morning's story and all my peeps. First set of females them will get dashed with since the start of the year. A two females in a wholesale one time. Sophia and Bernie. Sophia is the wholesale owner that has been robbed over 10 times. And the old dirty corner boy them come there and slap her away. And end up slap with one of our customers whose name is Bernie. Them two people, boy, I tell you. Innocent people them get caught up in the old dirty corner boy, dirty lifestyle. Next on the list is the 15-year-old Tony and Reed. Where the man them come clap her away and her man in a bed. A grown man and she a 15. So you know how that thing they set right there so. So Tony and was one that was caught in a compromising position with the old dirty corner boy. And lose her life courtesy because of that. So the next person them you know are the triple loss of life. Big news that one day so everybody definitely hear about that one day. We are going to Trelawney just a few weeks ago. Where the man them can up all our six people. Five female and one male. The one male end up succumb to injuries. And two other females end up lose. For them three pints to courtesy of the old dirty corner boy them. We are talking about Shamelia Clark. And we are talking about Tashe Black. The next person who end up losing them three pints is the one out of Dunkirk. Deso. A lady with them call Mumzel, birth name Tamika Henry. Yeah, man, me I tell you. The man them deal with she, bilious, spread her out like a sheet, lay her out, pan her back. And the next female will lose her three pints is another small business owner, Rose Christian. She end up lose fair three pints with her son at their small business establishment in rural St. James. And now the latest victim of peeps, 41 year old Garcia Williams, a young farmer from Trelawney who was brutally taken out by her ex boyfriend. Yeah, man, may I tell you? The man deal with Miss Williams a certain type of way, of boy, may I tell you? The graphic scenery and graphic imagery are one of the grimiest I've seen since the start of the year. To all the man use the machine and deal with the woman next to her. Trust me, there is no way Miss Garcia, who is affectionately called Julie in the community, could have survived such a brutal onslaught. Yeah, man. 
So the police have identified this man on your screen as the main person of interest in relation to the loss of life of Julie. Here, yeah, man, may I tell you? So his name is Omar Bennett, an ex-boyfriend of Miss Julie. So it is said that Miss Julie had a previous relationship with this brother that had gone sour. Wally altercation go on between the two and they were recently brought to the attention of the police re a dispute over a car. So it is said that Miss Julie in her yam field do her little thing and the man come up the bilious in a big argument with her. Here yeah, man may I tell you and use a machine to commit the acts of atrocity that was meted out to her. May I tell you said the man deal with her away. Grimy. Here yeah, man may I tell you so we are going to hear from the councillor of the division in which they reside in South Chulani, Desmond Smith. He says that he knows of the relationship and the relationship had gone sour between the two. And it is also understood that the couple had reportedly separated. However, reports indicate that the two had been engaged in verbal altercations publicly. There have been some dispute over a few months now because I think they happened to had a relationship going then and somehow the relationship has gotten sour and actually I think some real anger has developed. Desmond Smith, Councillor for the Trelawney South Division. So we're going to hear from the Superintendent of Police right now in charge of the Trelawney Police Division. His name is Carlos Russell. Superintendent Russell said that the couple had came to the attention of the police sometime last year following a dispute over a motor vehicle. The community is reportedly tense following that violent attack. Superintendent Russell is appealing to residents not to take justice in their own hands. Listen. Um, the only report that came to us was from in 2020 when they had a dispute about a motor vehicle that they bought together. Um, that was the only report and that was settled. No other report was received at this time. Really, so domestic violence. Omar Bennett, um, they call him Big Shot for Green Town Address, and we are asking for anyone who knows his whereabouts to, to call the weight of his police, or the Chilani police, and, um, and, and tell us. Um, or you can call 119 and pass on the information. We're also appealing to the residents that, that they should call the police and not try to, to, to take matters in their own hands. Uh, we do not support um, any form of jungle justice, so we are asking them to, just to call the police so that we can have him um, brought to justice. Summer peeps, that was Superintendent Carlos Russell, head of the Chilani Police Division. You know, sometimes as men, we need to know when to let go and when to walk away. Because sometimes, you know, the greater blessing is yet to come. Sometimes we don't know what is out there in the greater and wider society for us. Instead, we try to hold on to what we already know. Some of the time we need to take a step outside of the little pond and go inside the deep ocean. Right now, Omar Bennett decides him not to take no step outside of his little pond. Him no one got experience nothing else where life have to offer but what him already know with Julie. And him decides say the only way out is to take her out. And it is really sad for see how this couple has ended. It is really, really sad because they have been separated going on to two years now. So we not see no reason why Omar would have still a hold on to a hopeless cause. Obviously, the woman now have no interest in getting back together with you. So right now, you're on the run. And you have a little daughter too. You're on the run. Wanted for the last of life of your ex-partner. My peeps, sometimes we have to know when to let go. And when to walk away. Because trouble definitely not set like rain. And the police are going to hold you because members of John Public vex. The police I go hold on for you and you go get a lengthy sentence behind bars. Because you're not a bad man, you're not shatter. The community don't know you as that. Everybody's surprised to see the reaction that you gave out. Everybody is definitely surprised. So we don't know what really got through your head, but obviously it was premeditated.
Because you come there with the machine and take off the woman head clean. Yeah, man. Leaving her lifeless. No longer amongst the land of the living. No, you're going to spend the rest of your miserable life behind bars. So a message right now to all Jamaican males. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you, and all other nationalities too. Because this is a widespread thing and not just Jamaican thing, this. But a message nonetheless. When a woman decides say, she left you, remember me telling my boss. You see, before you find out, she left you already in her mind. Because women are emotional beings. Men are more ego driven beings. So we will tell you and just walk with after. A woman has left you in her mind months or even sometimes years before. She left you physically, she left you emotionally. So man need to start pick up on some signs and just take with himself and nobody make the thing get out of hand. And it is good and wise to invest in your woman and take care of your family. But don't over invest into a female because when she leave and you see her with another man, a them thing they really drive some man to do some things where them would have not normally do under normal circumstances. When a man see the whole time investment gone to another man, drive him over the edge. So males, be careful when you're doing that. Invest in a woman, yes. Spend a money for your woman, yes. But don't give your all to a woman like that because you're going to find yourself behind bars when time she'll decide to leave you. Make sure say, if you are investing in a she, you invest in a you so you are not left behind. If she have a degree, make sure say, you have a degree too or you have something substantial we can match up to fear capabilities. So to all the couples out there right you now, you know, just go and live and love each other. And if you don't reach a point where you can't agree, take on yourself and call it a day. There's others out there that is willing to play that part that the partner that you were with was not willing to do. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.